Hello everyone, welcome back to Raver's Mead, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, uh, my glamorous assistant Blue, who is currently scratching his butt on the wall, that's lovely. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> I am going to be showing you today how to get gorgeous diamond white fluffy feathers for the show ring. So every time we take our horses out, and this happened last weekend when we went to the show as well, we always get people coming up to us saying, how do we get their feathers so white? What's the secret? And honestly, there is no secret. Okay, he's having a real good butt scratch there. You enjoying yourself there, mister? I really shouldn't be letting him do that, but ugh, anyway, moving on. Back to the topic at hand. Um, there is no real secret to getting gorgeous white feathers. So we use two things, um, shampoo and wood flower. That's literally it. That's the two things we use to get their feathers ready for the show ring. Um, so I'm basically going to take you through my process today. If he doesn't take the stable wall down between now and then, that is. Um, I'm going to take you through our process today. It's really, really simple and easy. Um, it's not expensive to do. It's not complicated to do. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to get gorgeous show ring quality feathers. What you doing, itchy boy? What you doing? Should we give you a bath? Another one? Another day, another bath, huh? Yeah. Okay, so first things first, let me show you guys what I've got going on down here. Um, and when I say this is simple, this really is simple. So I've got soap. This is the soap I'm using at the moment. Um, I've been on a bit of an adventure with soaps over the last year, trying to get away from sort of harsh, harsh chemical soaps because I'm very aware of the fact that they irritate his skin in particular, but my skin as well and the other horses, all the horses seem to have sensitive skin here. Um, and the, some of the harsh shampoos we've been using in the past haven't been helping with that. So I am currently using this, which is Castar soap. It's basically a soap base. It's really plain and simple and um, what I've been doing is just popping a few drops of lavender oil in it just to make it smell nice. Um, and I might go ahead and put a little bit of neem oil in it as well, just because that's good for their, good for their coat and it helps with bug repelling. And it, it's good for their skin as well, which, you know, him having itchy butt syndrome over there, it definitely helps with that. Can I help you, young man? What you doing? Everybody wants to be a part of this video today. So yeah, that's, that's my soap situation. Um, and wood flower. That's literally it. Um, so this particular one that I've got, I've had this bucket for years now, literally years. Um, so this one was from Supreme Products. Um, it's whitening wood flower. And it's, it's basically a mixture of wood flour and chalk. Um, some of the old school guys will just get wood flour and chalk and mix it themselves. But I just bought this massive bucket years ago and I can't believe how far it's gone. It's lasted us so long. Um, a little bit goes a long, long way. And actually I've got a really good tip for not wasting it as well, which I'll show you when we get to it later. Uh, but first things first, if he's done scratching his butt on the wall, um, I'm going to get on with actually washing the feathers. Um, so I've just got my bucket of water here and my terrier, of course, because everybody needs a dog for washing horses feathers. <laughs> got my bucket of water here. Um, I've got sponge and I've got a little scrubby brush. I may use one or the other. I may use neither. It depends how dirty they are. Um, and what I'm going to do is let me just pop you guys down a sec. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some of my lavender oil in my bucket of water. Uh, you don't need a lot of it. It's literally just to make it smell nice. Um, and it does give kind of a calming effect, which is nice. And again, it does help with bug repellency. So, you know, we're, we're killing multiple birds with, you know, one thing here. Um, and I'm going to put a dribble of neem oil in here as well. Um, these two things are completely optional, I should just point out. So I like using my essential oils. Um, you don't have to, you can just use plain old soap, really. Um, and I'm gonna put a good old glug of soap in the bucket of water, uh, but I'm also gonna take, I'm gonna take this with me because I'm probably gonna need more than what I'm putting in the water. It's gonna be a bit diluted, but. So we'll put a good old glug in there. Get some suds going. Ok, 
Okay, let's try and uh, gonna try this and hopefully we don't knock Kevin over flying. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a bit of extra soap here and I'm just gonna concentrate around the back, the back of the foot here, just under the fat mark. Uh, this is usually where you get a lot of grease buildup. Now, one of the reasons that you're gonna have sad looking feathers is because you've got a lot of grease in them still. Now, a lot of people, myself included, like to use pig oil on their feathers, um, which is absolutely fantastic for keeping them clean and lovely. Um, especially in the winter, it helps to stop the mud from sticking and everything like that. Uh, but the only downside of using pig oil is the fact that it is, you know, it's greasy and you do tend to find you get this kind of greasy, dirty buildup right under here, right under the fat block joint there. Um, and when you've got that greasy buildup, um, it's very difficult to get lovely, flowy, thick, bushy, gorgeous feathers for the show ring. So I always concentrate lots of effort underneath this area to just, I mean, you can see the color of the foam is changing. It's kind of going brown where all that grease is coming out. Um, and this is really gonna to help to get volume in your feathers. The less grease you've got in them, the more voluminous they're gonna be when we start putting the chalk in them later on um, and pulling them up. So this, this bit is kind of vital. Um, you really need to get as much of the grease out as possible at this stage. And his legs are actually not that dirty. So he went to a show last weekend. So he's he's had a really good thorough feather wash within the last week already. So he's not actually very dirty today. But if you know if you were looking under here and you were seeing black bits and clogged up hair and things like that, what I would probably do is rinse it and then go back and do a second wash, even do a third wash. You know, if that grease isn't shifting, do another wash. Um, just keep going until you get rid of it all because trust me when I say it makes such a big difference um, to the sort of the finished product here. So that's, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, that's pretty good. Um, one thing you will find that is very hard to combat is you will always get little bits of staining on the ends of the feathers. That is incredibly difficult to get rid of. However, this will all be masked later on, again, when we get our wood flour and our chalk out. Um, that is kind of the magic ingredient here, so. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, I'm just gonna leave that on there for now and I'm gonna go ahead and do his other legs and then we will return and rinse everything and then I'll show you the next stage. Bless him, he's all sleepy. It's hard work having all these baths and going to all these shows, he says. Um, so that's that's the washing bits done. Um, he's all, all lathered up. Um, so I just need to rinse that off now. But Oh, Blueberry, you're not amused, are you? You're not amused. <laughs> Okay, so rinsing is done. So it's really important, I'm gonna say this, it's really, really important when you're rinsing to make sure that you get all of the soap out. Um, some horses, particularly those with really thick feathers, um, it can be difficult to get all of the soap out. Um, it's really important that you persist with the rinsing until the water runs out clear because again, that soap is gonna kind of stick in the feathers and you're not gonna get that gorgeous diamond white, light, light fluffy feather effect. Um, they're gonna be kind of like weighed down and not as, not as good looking basically. So don't skimp out on the rinsing phase if you can people, it is really important. Um, so he's good and soggy now, so he's not very happy. The next stage um, is literally uh, chalking. So. The chalk, this all needs to get done the day before the show, ideally. Trying to do this the day of the show does not result in very good results. That was a really bad sentence, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, to get the best results, you need to do this the day before the show. And what's going to happen next is I am going to towel dry his feathers. I still want them damp. I don't want them dripping wet, but I need them damp. 
and I'm going to go ahead with my little my little bucket, uh, my little green bucket down there. Um, I'm going to put his foot in that bucket in a minute, and I am just going to go ahead and rub a load of that wood flower up in those damp feathers. And it's going to look a bit gross. Um, the first time I did it, when I read about this online and I did it the first time, I thought, what have I done? It looks like I've made bread dough. Charming, charming, my boy. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> yeah, so it can look like a bit of a train wreck at first, but trust me when I say the results the next morning will be spectacular. So let me show you, let me show you how to do that now. Down. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Right. Keep your foot in the bucket, please. Hey, come on. Baloo. Down. Good boy. Well done. Stay there for me. Right. Trying to do this uh, one-handed without murdering Kevin, guys, so bear with me. Uh, so the whole point of the bucket is to catch any, any chalk that kind of falls off. Um, and we're literally just gonna be grabbing handfuls of it and just caking it on in there. Um, I usually go a little way up the leg as well. If you've got any sort of lingering stains, any sort of stains on the knees or anything like that, um, this is going to do wonders for hiding those. I think these could have done with being a little bit drier, but yeah. See what I mean when, it, when I say you make bread? <laughs> but it will look amazing tomorrow morning, trust me. Hello. Hey, Hansen. So that's our nicely damp chalked feathers, which look absolutely disgusting right now. But I can promise you tomorrow morning when we come to get him for the show, he's going to look fantastic, aren't you darling? You're going to look awesome. Hello everyone. So it's the next day now. Um, and this is, this is the result of our little feather washing and chalking enterprise yesterday. As you can see, they are sparkly white. Like they are brilliant white. Now, obviously he's got a few, he's got a few stains from where he was in the field last night. Um, and all I'm going to do now, uh, these are going to get a quick comb through. I'm going to give them a quick back comb. I might put a tiny bit of extra chalk in just at the last minute, just to make sure that they're extra diamond white before we go into the show ring. Um, but I'll do that when we actually get there. With regards to these stains, all I'm gonna do is get a baby wipe or a damp sponge um, and just give them a really quick wipe over. Give them a quick wipe over and then I'll get a handful of chalk and just rub it in just to sort of like, remove the stain first of all with the damp cloth um, and then also to just hide anything that doesn't quite want to shift um, and that's literally it like I said they're going to get a back comb when we get to the actual venue his back feathers are going to be his back legs sorry are going to be bandaged up now anyway so they're going to go a little bit flat they always do um, and yeah literally just get a comb a brush I like to use one of those magic brushes um, I don't know if I've got one here to show you guys actually I've got one to hand I have, so I like to use one of these types of things um, and I'll literally just, just give it a brush through and you can already see how they're sort of fluffing up really nicely. Um, it's a lot easier using two hands I will say. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You're just going to go through and tease all of those hairs loose. 
um, and give it a nice back comb and a nice fluff. Tiny bit of extra chalk at the last minute. And that's him ready for the show ring. Uh, so I hope this was helpful for you guys today. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It really is as simple as that. There's nothing fancy, nothing complicated. Shampoo, towel dry, chalk while they're still damp and then brush and poof in the morning just before you go into the show ring. Jobs are good em. Uh, thanks for watching today guys. If you have any questions about the process, about what I've done here, feel free to pop them in the comments, feel free to drop me a message. I'm always happy to answer questions. Um, and yeah, I better get going because we're actually taking him and Madam here to a show today. So yeah, our next video will be another show vlog for you all. See you next time, guys. Bye.